Azure traffic, Skyhawk 7400, Papa. We are holding shot of 25, waiting for the Napaho to land, Iowa City. Thank you, 872, mile final for 25, Iowa City. Uh, Tina wanted to take a picture, I forgot about that. No, I told her not today. Oh, okay. Hey, are you feeling alright? I yeah. can tell you. We'll, we'll go out and, uh, we don't have to make it like a super long day or anything. We'll do a power on, power off stall, see how that goes. All right, if you want to come back after that, you know, we'll do full stop, no questions asked, all right? Okay. I can tell you're, I'm not going to pry or anything, but I can tell you're kind of like, uh, <laughs> long day at work, I'm assuming. Good, flying's fun, all right? There you go. That's what I like to see. Okay. Iowa, Iowa City traffic, Skyhawk 7400, Papa. We're going to line up on runway 25, waiting for the Napaho to clear the runway, Iowa City. Okay. There you go. Yeah, that's fine. Navajo 872 is off the runway, Iowa City. And then uh, just let them know we'll be departing to the south. Like, once, once we're rolling and stuff. Okay. Iowa City traffic, Skyhawk 7400, Papa, taking off on runway 25, departing to the south, Iowa City. A uh, 45 for right traffic for 25, Iowa City. All right, you want me to do the climbing checklist? Um, I usually wait until about 1,000. Okay. 1,000 AGL. 1,000 AGL. So, like, 200 more feet, and then you can do the climb checklist. You don't want to do it like right after you leave. Okay. Because that's usually the most dangerous, like, oh hey, we're low to the ground, you know, there might be power poles or whatever else. Iowa City traffic, Skylane, 2.5 miles to the east of the airfield, 2,000 feet above the ground, doing an overfly, going to enter right downwind for 2.5. <laughs> Iowa City. I can see the town of Hills over there. Okay. I know that is 380. Clinton traffic, Skyhawk 671, signing left cross to front, right 32. to like 4,000 feet. Sound good? Yeah, sounds good. Sometimes I realize that uh, when you ask me something, I not my head. Or I just, yeah, I can't, I can't see you because yeah, I'm trying to like look outside and make sure we don't crash into other people. I want to cancel with them. It's been about 30 minutes. Yeah, I noticed that on the videos. Traffic Skyline entering on the 45 left downwind to 25. I was sitting. Not really a big deal, I guess. That is the Riverside Casino right there. Alright. So, do you want me to go towards a um, little past Kelowna? Well, uh. I'll go back to the same place. We'll go, we'll go sort of where we were yesterday, so we'll go slightly to the west now.
Uh, I think it was Williamstown. Iowa right? City traffic, Sky Lane. Left downwind, 25, Iowa City. Iowa City traffic, Sky Lane turning base, left traffic 25, Iowa City. Jenison traffic, just a zero, zero unit from uh, over the city, descending for landing 12, Jenison. Iowa City traffic, Skyline, turning final, 25, Iowa City. Alright. That is uh, Riverside, that should be uh, Kelowna right there. Okay. Simpson Town should be uh, about there. Yeah, it's like to the front of us. Might be slightly more yeah. west. Yeah. Hey, um, Matt, if you don't mind, do you have flight controls for a while? Uh, what's up? I just want to adjust my seat. Sure, go ahead. My flight controls. Try not to uh, unbuckle your seatbelt because those are a pain in the ass to get off. Oh, no, the I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'll never do that. Our flight controls. Alright, your flight controls. Alright. We're gonna go up there a little bit or we can do it here? We can do it here. So, okay. um, before that, what do we need to do? We gotta do some clearing turns. Okay, before that. Uh, what well, are we forgetting? Tell them our intentions. What about checklist? Oh, cruising? Because we're cruising at 4,000 feet now, right? Oh yeah, we've got to lean the mixture. Correct. When you yeah. lean the mixture, make it nice and slow, alright? That way you can hear like what's going on with the engine. Slower. Yeah, yeah. nice and slow. Like, so just, you like, so you're doing it like this, you want to make it nice and slow. Alright, that way you can listen to the engine. Watch. Or just listen. And you want to keep an eye on the RPM. One, two, you heard how, heard how it was going, like, slower? Yeah. Like, starting to slow down, alright? We don't want to lean it much more than that, because soon we're not going to have an engine turn. No. I, I would be very conservative. You're going to be I'm very down. careful. Like, on the ground, you should be slow so it doesn't accidentally stall out, but definitely on the, on the, in the air, okay? Like, do it slowly on the ground, that way you create good habits when you're flying in the air. But yeah, you want to be extremely careful. And then, like, do three notches back to the right or whatever. Like, three turns. Alright, so now that we've done the clearing turns, so this is, um, to our right, that's Williamstown. See it right here? Yeah, that one. Alright, so that's Williamstown. So if we just, like, stay in this area-ish, like, stay around Williamstown, we know that we're clear of all sorts of other air spaces. We're really not too close to, uh, Iowa City either. As long as we stay, like, to the southwest-ish of okay. Williamstown and don't go too far. Alright, All right. so whenever you're ready, show me, uh, you know, power off. Do you want to do power on or power off first? I'd rather do power on. Okay, so we'll do a power on stall first. Show me, show me everything, everything that comes with it. I'll do the one that I don't like first. Alright, yeah, power on stall is a little bit... Uh, Iowa City traffic, Skyline crossing, runway. One, two. Iowa City.
Sounds like there are a lot of people like out today. So we'll probably make that radio call. All right. That's one. And then you want to go once to the right. Or do you want me to go left or right? So clearing turns are like two turns. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we'll go once back to the right. Runway one two. Right, let's hit it. I'm gonna try to. Um, it should be 90 degrees in one direction, 90 degrees into the other. Yeah. I'm trying to follow the roads. Okay, that's fine. And then we're gonna make a radio call. Okay. Okay, you're, uh, do you feel us like sinking right now? A little bit. There you go. All right. So let's make your let's make a radio call. We're gonna say something along the lines of Iowa City traffic area, Skyhawk 740 Sierra Papa is 11 miles to the southwest of Iowa City at 4,000 feet practicing stalls. Okay. okay. You want to let them know like who you are, where you are, what you're doing. Okay. Okay. You want to give the radio call a shot? I'll give it a shot. No. All right. Hey, what's up with the bumpy? Uh Okay. It's just a day. It's, sometimes it happens. It's still okay to practice stalls? Huh? It's still okay to practice stalls? Yeah, it's just a little bumpy. Uh, I'll be right here. If it's not the best, you know, just like, if the airplane starts to like bank or something like that, just recover. Okay. Alright, we'll, ca we'll count that as the first indication of a stall. Okay. Iowa City Traffic Skyhawk 740. Iowa City Traffic Skyhawk 740 Papa. We are 12 miles southwest of the airport. Uh, we're going to be practicing uh, some stalls at about um, 4,000 feet. Iowa City. All right, that's fine. Did I say power off you, or power on? Stall? It doesn't matter. As long as you let them know what you're doing. Sometimes I'll Order be like that's, uh, coming into Clinton. What are your intentions? Sometimes I'll be like, oh, we're doing okay, a stall, but we're doing a slow flight. Yeah. Anyway, you just I want to give them an idea. Alright, so, okay. show me a power on, on stall. So how about I right. follow that traffic on the downwind? So I'm going uh, to walk through, through the as I talk. Alright, roger that, thanks. No factor, right? Uh, Matt, the what is? those guys on the airport, right? It, they're no, they're 12 miles away. They're okay. no factor. I was just confused. I mean, I was concerned because you're looking back. All right. No, I was trying to figure out where this town was. We're good. Don't okay. worry. So, um, right now I'm gonna try to uh, keep at um 4,200 uh, feet. Traffic. Okay. Skyhawk 671. I'm gonna try to keep to uh, that best hitting. And then I'm going to uh, first, since it's going to be a power on stall, I don't have to worry about the flaps. I'm going to reduce the, the uh, speed to uh, 1500. Okay. I'm going to try to uh, keep the flight uh, level. I can feel that the airspeed is um hey we need two stalls right can we put to full reach um that's fine okay it's gonna be safe. we're gonna um uh, reach out 55 knots iowa city traffic navajo h will be taken off 25 iowa city Okay, you see how we're descending right now and we're yeah. at like 65 knots so we got to keep adding back pressure until we get to the point where uh just so uh, we're gonna put some more, uh, we're gonna put, um, two 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 there you go. Remember, we're taking off. You don't want to like wait. There you go. Lower the nose. It's okay. All right. Let a little bit of airspeed build up, and now we're just going to hold it here, okay? And then once our airspeed builds up, we're just going to climb out like normal. All right, just climb out like normal. Okay. All right. So, let's try again. What? That was better, yeah. So now we're just going to recover, we're going to lower the nose, okay? So no, 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 you keep full power, we're at 60 knots, all right? You keep full power until we're at cruise. So once we hit 100, then you can start pulling the, the power back, okay? okay. So you got to maintain your altitude, so you got to lower the nose, all right? Uh -huh. If you keep climbing, we're never going to get to that 100. 
So now that we're here, bring the power back to 2100 or so for cruise. All right, start reducing the power slowly. Smooth, right? Slowly, slowly. Traffic Columbia 350 is unit alpha. Yeah, I'm going to go down a bit. Uh, I'm going to go out and fly over this. Uh, somebody overflying the airport. What, uh, okay. what altitude do you guys find the pattern at? Not bad. Do you want to do uh, another one? Yeah. Can I try All another right. one, please? Power on stall. Let's go again. Okay, okay I'll be uh, uh, going go at 4,400. Uh, I'll overfly the field at about uh, 2,000. 300 alpha. And when we're like climbing out, when you hear the stall warning horn going off, you two probably two just hold like three that three. pitch. All right? Um, we don't want to like keep increasing the back pressure, otherwise, you know, we're going to act like this. traffic checker, Cherokee 64 x rays left base 25, obviously. There you go. Alright, hold it right there, hold it, hold it. Lower the nose. There you go, there you go. And maintain just a little bit, just a little bit. Lower the nose, there you go. And then we want to start climbing out now. Okay, and then I'll right. climb out again. There you go. Alright, so let's recover. Recover. Yep, so just lower the nose. Alright, we're going to go back carry, to cruise. Traffic, Kiko carry traffic. This is helicopter 288 okay. Alpha Echo. Currently 10 miles south of the river. 15 miles south of Kiko Airport. Good job. Uh, heading northbound. That's pretty good. At west out. Do you want me to turn back and do some power? Um, yeah, let's make uh, two left turns. So we'll do two clearing turns to the left. Understood. That way we're just not like super far away. 12 o'clock. Alright, cool. Left traffic, Skyhawk 671, turning left down and front. Traffic charge, six for x ray short final two five, obviously touch and go. Alright, so let's maintain uh, four thousand five hundred, okay? Four thousand five hundred. Yep, we'll do uh stalls at that altitude. Okay, so now we're going to do uh, perform a power off stall. We're going to maintain 4,500. We're going to hit the east heading. We're going to pull the power down to um, pull the power down to uh, 1,500. Okay. Where are we banking to the right? In 100 below 110. First notch of flaps. So 85 second notch of flaps. How do I gain airspeed again? What do you mean how do you gain airspeed? Like I'm supposed to be at 65. Yeah. Alright, let's just recover. Let's try that again. Okay, do you want me to do it? Okay. So, how, how do you gain airspeed? Push down the nose. Okay. Did I pull up too fast? That's why I was going below. You don't, no, you don't pull up. You maintain your altitude, right? Okay. Well, all you gotta do... I'm at what? 100 knots right now? Yeah. Okay. Power back to 1500. Alright. Below 110, flaps 10. All I'm doing is maintaining 4500. So I'll add a little bit of back pressure. Am I below 85 knots? Yes or no? Yes. Flaps full. All right, we're going to lower the nose, pitch for 65. All right, see him at 65. 65. I think right. I'll pull the nose up. Yeah, you don't, you don't pull the nose up. Just, Just maintain. Sure you maintain. Sure All you're doing is you're maintaining your altitude, okay? okay? You're not like, okay, I'm going to pull up like this or anything like is that is that what you do like when we're when we're landing? No, unless we're going too fast, we don't pull up the nose. Right? Makes sense. All right, your flight controls. Our flight controls. Give that another shot. Yeah, is departing away to the east.
Alright, we're gonna start at uh, 4,600, is that okay? Uh, yeah, that's fine. 4,600 okay. Okay, 4,600. I'm gonna... Uh, 4,600. What do you do when you're below 85? Why are we still holding the nose up? You gotta lower the nose and pitch for 65, right? We're not doing that. Recover. Right. Recover. All right. I want you to get it right. Okay. We're not going to try to stall the airplane until you get that uh, pitching for 65 part right, okay? So when the airspeed's coming down, when it's like 75 knots, 70 knots, just lower the nose. Do what you would for for when you're normally going to pitch for 65 when we're coming in for landing, all right? Just pretend we're on like a two-mile final and we dump the flaps and all that. Okay, traffic, all right? Let's try that again. Alright, let's try that again. Okay. 4,000, um, 4,600. So, remember, pretend that 4,400 feet, that's your ground level, okay? That's where the runway is. So we're gonna flare 100 feet high. There you go, okay. bring the power back to 1,500. Alright, let me try again. Alright, go I'll ahead. back to, uh, 1,500. Alright. Flight one, that back helicopter is 10 miles to the west, transitioning. Look at the airspeed. Below 85, full. All right, dump the flaps in full and then lower the nose. All right, we're pitching for 65. 65, 65. There you go, right about here. Okay. All right. Not that much. You don't have to, 65 knots, not not like 80. All right, there we go. Look at that. We're 100 feet above our, uh, our, our, what do we do now? I don't. Okay, what else? Security traffic helicopter 288 Alpha Echo, five miles south of the field, heading northbound. 1,300 feet, transitioning. Key cut. There you go. There you go. Add a little bit more back pressure. All right, you want to sort of bring it to level as soon as you got enough air speed. Security traffic helicopter 283 Echo, five miles south of the field. All right. And then we climb out. All right. Okay. Don't forget the flaps, and then once you're done, like, bringing the flaps up all the way, you just do the cruise checklist, all right? Clinton traffic, Skyhawk 671 is turning left base for on three, two, seven, go. Left 65, left 10. Positive rate of full flaps. Keep climbing back to uh, 4,600. Uh, pardon my French. Pitching for 65 was not easy. So <laughs> huh? Keeping at 65, it's not easy. Maybe I should practice slow flight, that might help. Yep, well, we gotta do slow flight anyway at some point. But, uh... Slow and flight's gonna be a lot slower than 65. So don't worry about that. See traffic. Go. All right, so here's what we're gonna do now. So we got like 45 minutes left. So we'll do one more thing out here, and then I'm going to have you navigate us back. So okay. my flight controls really quickly. Let's say we're yeah, flying along, controls. and all of a sudden, our engine cuts out. What are you going to do? I'll fly the airplane, all right? What's well, step number one? Step, step number one. Yep. Get your checklist. Okay. Grab your checklist. You want this one, right? The one, the one you gave me. Yeah. So that, that one's got, like, most of the same stuff. So remember everything in here is... Well, super uh, engine failure, make sure airspeed is uh, flaps up. So engine stop failure, stop. take off roll, engine failure immediately after takeoff. Are we immediately after takeoff? Where are we? We are cruising. Okay. So is so it going to be a uh, during flight? Okay, right. So uh, airspeed at 68. Alright, 68 knots, I'm right there. What's 68 next? Knots, shut off uh, full waff. Um, Fuel shut off while pushed so, forward. So, so before I before doing the checklist, what did I say to, to do? 
Look what, if we have to, what if we have to land it? Yeah, exactly. Do you see any of these, like, do any of these look like good places to possibly land it? We're on a road, right? So, for practice, we're gonna use, um... We're gonna use, uh... In reality, you'd want a road. Um, but for practice, we're gonna use a these, field. like, fields. Okay, there's a nice field here, if you want. Okay, which see? one? The one right that there. we're, like, right above? Yeah, you see? It's all Alright, like, yeah. cool, cool, cool. No so, we're gonna use that one. Lot, yeah. All right, cool. So start. Keep reading the checklist. What do we do? Okay, uh, fuel select off both. You did that, and then uh, auxiliary fuel pump on. Okay, so both in mixture. Simulate turning the auxiliary fuel pump on. Fuel pump simulate. On. Okay. Simulate. And then, what if the propeller's not spinning? If the, uh, try to uh, turn on the start if, the engine. If the propeller is not spinning. Yeah. We turn the key, okay? So simulate turning the key if the turn propeller's the not spinning. On. If that doesn't do anything, we're gonna pretend like it's flooded, all right? So okay. both in, simulate pulling to idle, simulate full forward, simulate turning the fuel pump off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear out the engine real quick. And then we're gonna simulate turning the key, all right? Not turning the key, yep. Yep, and if nothing happens, then we're gonna have to land it without power. Okay. Land it without power. Yep. Is there a land without power too? Yes, there is. Okay, land without engine power, airspeed 75. It flaps up 65, it flaps. No, we hold off on the flaps, right? Yeah. Why are we going to put it in here? What if we need the flaps when we're getting close to the ground? Right? Okay. What if we're low? Then we lose the uh, the ability to put the flaps in to help ourselves float. Okay, so you want to keep it at 70 then it flaps up. Uh-huh. Make sure yeah, I do cut. Yeah, 3,000. Yeah, 3,000. Wow, we've barely lost any. Well, we're at 3,000, right? Yeah, 3,000. And so then, we're about uh, 2,000 feet above the ground right now. Barely lost any altitude. And then um, make sure you've got to pull out so you simulate that, right? Okay. And magneto switch, uh, I mean, uh, sorry, fuel shut off, off, pull out that too. Okay. And then uh, magneto switch, turn it off, okay. turn that off. And then flaps as required. If you, you, you probably won't do it until you think you need it. Yeah, you want to hold off on, on doing anything with the flaps. I usually wait until I'm on final. Okay. Okay? So yep. you can do all this other stuff, but hold off on turning the engine, like the, the master off, until you're like, okay, I can make this, or uh, I need my flaps. All right? Because if we're coming in a little low, we don't want to put the flaps in. But if we're high, we're going to want to be able to dump the flaps in. Alright? Make sense? Makes sense. So master switch off, so you turn that off. Seat belts upright position, seat belts secure. Door unlatch prior to landing. Touchdown slight. Slightly tail low. Brakes apply, apply heavily. Yep. So that's the so, that's the uh, the field right there, the one like the kind of like light that. yellow one. Yeah. I'm aiming for that one. Yep. That gives us the most distance. Yep, yep, yep. I think that was a thousand feet. What I'm gonna do is I got about seven hundred. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six hundred feet to lose. Um, and I want to be a beam. So what we're gonna do are is we're gonna try to like, quote unquote, enter the traffic pattern, all right? Remember how we talked about this last time? All we did was we circled yeah. over the field. I wanted the field to be a little bit more to my left, but I'm kind of directly over it right now. So what I'm gonna do now is I need to start turning to the left so that by the time we're a beam or point of landing, we're a thousand feet above, all right? I'm going to keep that turn coming in. See where the field is to our left? Right? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Alright, how are we looking right now? A little too high. Huh? Well, obviously we're high, because we're going to be landing towards the west, right? Uh-huh. I'm going to clear the engine one more time. Alright, so there's our field right now. So we're going to try to land on that field right there. All right. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is just like a power off 180. I want to keep that in sight. Yeah. All right. I think I'm a little high, so I'm going to put the flaps into 10. The turn coming in at about 1,300 feet. That's what I'm going to go around. All right. I'm 
on base. How am I? High, low, what? High, low, what? Um, I think you're okay, though, if you, you can keep turning. Okay, so I'm going to keep turning. No, you are descending at 500 feet per minute, so. Okay, well, we're aiming for this yellow field, right? What do you think? A little too low. You think we're low? This yellow field? Yeah, this yellow field. You think oh, we're... A little too high. Okay, so I should have dumped the flaps in, right? Yeah. Or at least put flaps 20, so we're going to go around now. So what we could have done is we could have switched to that field over there because it's going in the same direction. Yeah. Would you just usually just pick another field nearby? If well, you... if you're that low to the ground and you're like, oh shoot, I am uh, i can't land on the field that I want to, uh -huh. then yes, you can switch, but that's only if there are other fields in the area, right? What if that's yeah. the only field and it's surrounded by trees? You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, it's so good one. I'm going to climb us up to 3,000 feet. What I want you to do is I want you to figure out where the hell we are and how the hell we're going to get back to the airport. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. So we'll do sort of like what we did yesterday. Yeah, thanks. That's a good demo though for... Uh, yeah, no worries. Emergency, uh... Procedure. Yeah, but seriously, like, known to unknown. We know how to do a traffic pattern. We're trying to enter a traffic pattern over the field, right? All you're doing is you're staying directly over the field until you're ready to quote-unquote enter the traffic pattern, all right? Okay. And uh, when we get back, we'll do some power-off 180s. That way we can sort of practice... Uh, you know, like, it, power off 180s help with these. So it really helps with your uh, judgment. We're probably near uh, Richmond. Okay. Richmond area. Uh, might even be at. Um, I know because that's the river that you see right there. Okay. And we are past this side, so you know, uh, we are so the south of the river. Okay, grab your plotter then. And then you want to figure out the uh, heading that we want to be on. So from where you think we are, roughly what heading do we want to be on? Roughly we want to go north. Okay, like 360, 350, 020, what? I would say... Uh, Give me a number. 030. 030? Yeah. Okay. So we're, at three, zero, it's zero, three, we're zero. just about at 3,000 feet right now. Your flight control is okay. Wait, what, really? Your flight controls. You have flight controls. I have flight controls. There you go. You have flight controls. All right. So do you know what runway they're using at uh, the airport? One second. One second. Okay. Take your time. Okay, I think I see a... Uh... Oh, that's the river though, that's uh... Actually that should be uh, William Sound right there. Where? Where is Williamstown? One second. High silo right there? Yeah, okay, so that's Williamstown. Yeah. How far is Williamstown from uh, the airport? 10 miles. Okay, well, let's go wings level. Can we see the airport anywhere? If it's only 10 miles away, visibility is more than 10 miles. I mean, we climb like 700 feet, by the way. Yeah. Remember, yeah I, I, I see the airport right there. Okay, cool.
So there's the airport. We have a rough idea where we are, right? Yeah. Let's enter on a left 45 for 25. If that's the runway in use. Did we listen to the wind? Uh, yeah, yeah. Jet? We'll do that. No, I know I'm throwing a lot at you. Yeah. But uh, I'm trying to be like, hey, if you don't know what runway's in use, let's just circle um, over this yeah. area. All right. I, know, so, I was just trying to yeah. get my bearing. That's, that's fine. So what I'm saying now is we don't. Right now we don't know what runway's in use, right? Yeah. So let's just circle over Williamstown until we can listen to the to the uh, okay. latest. But eight one right. zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature two niner Celsius. Dew point one six Celsius. Altimeter three zero zero zero. Remarks. Density altitude 2,400. Iowa City Municipal Airport, Iowa City, Iowa. Automated weather observation 1726 Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 2 niner Celsius. Dew point 16 Celsius. Altimeter 3000. Remarks. Density altitude so 2,400. Iowa City Municipal Airport, Iowa City, Iowa. Automated weather observation 1727 Zulu. Wind calm. Wind calm. Visibility okay. 10. So we can use just about any runway that we want, right? We can use 25. Okay, perfect. <coughs> because oh. we're, we're coming roughly from the west, right? Yeah. And we're a little bit to the south of the airport, it makes sense to use 25. Okay. Yeah. Hey, the reason I wasn't looking at the radio yet, listening to the radio, is because you, some of my instructors, they usually listen to it while we are hitting there. Yeah. So that's why well, I was we're confused. trying to figure out where we are. We don't know what runways in use is what I'm saying. So if we like head towards the airport, we're like, okay, we're going to enter on a left 45 for 25, but they're using runway, you know, 7 or something like that. We have to change up how we're going to enter over the airport. That's all I'm saying. I'm just trying to get you to think. So we could probably just head directly towards the airport right now. Okay. It might not exactly be like a left 45, but we can bug the runway. Actually, it's almost bugged. So we can bug 25, which is right about here. Yeah. And then as we're keeping the airport in sight, as we get closer, we can make those sort of like corrections that we're able to enter on a left 45. See how like yeah, I know. two fives here, the runway is probably going this way. We're heading towards the approach end. The departure end. Anything else that you think we should do? Probably go back to our pattern, pattern altitude and make our call. Okay, let's make a radio call. I know city traffic, Skyhawk time, 400, Papa. We are eight miles southwest of the airport. We're going to enter inbound downwind on runway 25, Iowa City. Cool. What about the descent checklist? Yes. Bring the power back to 2000. All right. That'll help us descend a little bit. We'll go down to 2,500 for now, okay? Okay. Probably uh, want another landing lights. Always desired. Mixture adjust. There we go, and then we just want to talk about how we're getting to the airport. The airport's right in front of us, well, to the left. We're entering on a left 45 for runway 25. Do you have 25 in sight? Not yet. Okay. One second. I'll make a round another radio call to five miles. Okay. Is that okay? 
Until they hit your propeller blades. Do they do that, or did they? Oh yeah. Fly away? They, well, no, not always. Maybe they don't see you or something. So the birds, what they do to like get away is, you saw how that one dived? Yeah. They have like a tendency to dive. So if they're above us, they'll try to dive below, and then they'll hit the. Wing. It, it happens sometimes. Bird Let's strikes strike. aren't. Bird strikes aren't too uncommon. Right now we're 300 feet above the traffic pattern altitude. Um, that's good. Like once we're in the pattern, oh, okay. 1,700 feet. You want to bring it basically to cruise, okay? Up a little bit. Do you want me to do a normal landing for now, and then you show me a power? We'll huh? do a we'll do a normal landing, and then uh, we'll do a touch and go. Because we, we still got to get the normal landings down anyway. I just want you to get the idea of a power off 180. Just so you can kind of see like, hey, what can I do with the airplane? Am I still able to make it from here or here or here? Uh-huh. Uh, um, at the beam. Okay. Hi, city traffic, Skyhawk, town for zero zero papa. Downwind on two five, left downwind on two five, Iowa City. There you go. You see how you're making a lot of adjustments with the power? Yes, sir. Alright, keep it at 1500. Make adjustments with your pattern, not your power. You're having to constantly like add and reduce power, that means there's something wrong with your pattern.
Hold it, hold it, hold it. That's up. You wanna like smoothly add back pressure. Don't just do it all at once, okay? Are you city traffic? Skyhawk time for zero zero five five. Uplane on runway two five. Uh, remaining on Patton, Iowa City. Do you, do, you, do you understand what I mean by like smoothly applying back pressure? Do I just pull it up straight away? Uh, no. So when we're coming in, you gotta like slowly add back pressure. You see, I'm slowly adding it right now. Yeah. What you're doing is you're doing this. We're like, okay, we're coming in. Whoop, like you're pulling back too hard. That's why we like come up so high. You gotta do it nice and smooth. Okay. Don't just pull it back all at once. We'll uh, we'll probably make this one the. Uh, we'll do like one more, either the power off one. We'll, we'll just do normal patterns. We'll save power off 180s for another day. All right, sounds good. I want to get down like the actual landing part of it. Once we get to uh, like the final. I'm going to take over and I want you to watch what I do with the controls, okay? Okay. But you have it all the way up until the rollout, basically. You just don't have the, the rollout part of it, or the, uh, the flaring part of it, I should say. Traffic Skyhawk Sam for zero zero Papa downwind on runway two five left downwind on runway two five Iowa City. the beam. Alright. Really is the power. 15. Less than 110 10 degrees left. See if I can do that. 15. 100 all the, all the entire time. Yep. You want to, you want to, don't touch the power, okay? Like, okay. keep your hand on it if you have to make changes. Uh, but I don't want to feel you making any changes, all right? I'll try. Any sort of changes you need to make for now, just try to make them on final. That way you can see, like, you're like, oh, hey, I'm extremely low, probably because I had too much nose up, or I'm extremely high, probably because I didn't have enough nose down, or something like that. Okay. All right, that way you're sort of able to see, like, if you can see what you did wrong, it makes it a lot easier to figure out what you need to do to fix it. Traffic, Sarasan, for zero zero five five, turning final on runway two five. There you go. We'll make the uh, the next one our last one, okay? This will be a touch and go. The next one will be a full stop. You're gonna take a while once I align the plane, right? Yep. Once we're like probably like short final. How are we looking? Too high. All right, put Too that flat. last notch of flaps in then. Try to make it a little bit more like, you saw how we sort of like came uh, in at an angle? Try uh, to make it a little bit more uh, square. All right, keep the nose coming down. Keep the nose coming down. Otherwise, we're never going to get there. All right, so my flight controls. Watch this. That was it's really good. See, you didn't make any power correction. Yeah, but that was so hard. <laughs> yeah, it was hard. That's the point. It's not supposed to be super easy. So watch this. All right, we're over the runway now. I'm going to start pulling back the power. I'm going to keep it coming down. I'm aiming for the beginning of the runway. All right, now you see how I'm slowly adding back pressure, just like we do with that power off stall? Look at that. See? I held the, uh, the pressure off all the way down to the runway. I should have added a little bit more. That was good. Thanks, appreciate it. 
I should have had a little bit more back pressure in at the end, but you see how I didn't just be like, whoop, you know, kind of like you were doing? It was a very, very smooth and gradual pullback, all right? Have you seen that, uh, do you know that magic trick where they yank the, uh, where they yank the, uh, like, like there's silverware on the table and they yank the, uh, the, the tablecloth off? Yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah. All right. That's what you're doing. But the problem is you're not a magician. So when you pull it off, all the glass shatters. All right. So what you need to do is you're just going to slowly pull the tablecloth. All right. Because we don't want any of this stuff to move because we're just trying to adjust it, that's all. All right, it's uneven, so rather than yanking it and knocking all the fine china over, we just need to add a little bit of back pressure. Does that make sense or no? That makes sense. It's going to take practice though, too. Oh yeah, no, it takes yeah, a lot. Of, it takes a lot of practice, trust yeah. me. It's, it's hard, but did you see how I like very oh, yeah, smoothly yeah. applied that back pressure yeah, versus it's... when you did it, you just sort of did that? Yeah. I mean, at a point, it becomes my fault, too, because I'm holding off on the controls, waiting for you to, like, pull back. So when I get on it, I'm like, okay, you need to start pulling back. I think you just pull back because you hear me say pull back. Uh -huh. So I think that's sort of my fault also. I'm a little high. Whoops. Do you want to take flight control? Yep, I'll give, I'll give it back to you now. Your flight controls. Okay. I'm city traffic, Scott, 740, Sierra Papa, left downwind, runway 25. I was here. There's a wind coming from there. I'm gonna put the phones down. I think the wind's picking up a little. Yeah, I can feel that. So, uh, because I had some crosswind correction, but I didn't have quite enough when I touched down. So, we'll have to add a little bit of crosswind correction on the landing. Keep it at 1500. I know it's hard, but I want you to do that again. That was perfect. All right. There was a slight flare that we did, but other than that, uh, or sorry, the the flare was a little long, meaning we came in a little bit high. But other than that, you know, that can be fixed with a, a like 1500, a, right? If I feel like the RPM is going low, I can add some, right? Yeah. Keep it at 1500. If you feel like we are getting low, add some RPM. Okay. Traffic, Skyhawk, San Francisco, Sharp, Papa, left base on 25, Iowa City. Alright, how are we looking? Uh, looking good. Okay. Hello, 85. Return to decrease. Iowa City traffic, Skyhawk, San Francisco, Sharp, Papa, turning final on 25, Iowa City. 4 Madison traffic, helicopter, 741 Alpha Charlie, 5 miles northwest of the airfield, inbound to the hospital. 4 Madison. A little too high. Now you see how we're coming in at an angle again? Yeah, we're only coming straight, right? Yeah. So, we got a bit of a crosswind, so we're getting pushed away from the runway. That's why our, our base is so long. This way, though. Yeah, so the wind's coming from. Hold on. Maybe not. The wind is coming from here, right? Yeah, I think it's coming from the left now. Yeah, maybe our uh, crosswind's too long. <laughs> maybe that's all that happened. All right, there you go. Oh, bring the power to idle now. Power to idle. Power to idle. Power to idle. Keep the nose coming down, okay? We're aiming for the beginning of the runway. Hold it. All right, now we're going to slowly start adding back pressure. A little bit of left aileron, right rudder. Okay, hold it off. Hold it off. Hold it off. There we go. See how smooth that was? Flaps up. We're not going. Or, we're not. No. Nope. nope. Yes. We're gonna. We're gonna get off the runway here. I see traffic back seven four zero Sierra Papa is gonna be back taxiing on runway uh, three zero Iowa City. Yeah, that last part is gonna take um, yeah. practice. Did you, did you did you feel how like smooth that was? How gradual we were pulling back on the yoke? 
Yeah. You can do it slightly faster than what I did there. Um, I did it a little slow, in fact, like when I was helping you with that last one. But the the point still the same. You don't want to just wait until the last second and yank it backwards. That's how we flare. Like we, we sort of float like that. We get high because we're in ground effect. And then uh, we just kind of sink like a rock. I'm gonna go for the up a bit. Sorry, what? I'm gonna go for the up a bit. So okay. Yeah, that's point. perfect. So we'll stop here. Up to landing. Bring the throttle to a thousand RPM. All right, we don't want to idle at five hundred. Lights off. Stop lights off. Early in four. I see traffic. Skyhawk seven four zero zero Papa. We are clear of uh, all runways, Iowa City. There you go. Hey, is my uh, pattern tighter this time? Uh, yeah, your pattern was a bit tighter this time. Our crosswind and base, though, they're still a little long. I didn't really do much to correct it this time, though. Um, but yeah, but because you saw how like we were sort of at an angle every time we came in for the, the like the base like. Yeah, you want it to be more 90 degrees. Yeah, we want more basically crosswind. what you want to do on the crosswind is you want to turn 90 degrees, go level for like a second or two just so you can take a peek at the runway and then you start your turn again. So I think your crosswind is just a little too long. You really want to make them like nice and 90 degree turns. Actually, uh, today I feel good about my landing. So. Yeah, the landing was great, man. You know, like I said, a little bit of assistance from me on that last one, but it was really solid. You just gotta get that, like, slow addition of, like, back pressure. Alright? You can get the glide slope part because of the, um, um, simulator. But, uh, the back pressure, you know, when you slowly apply, uh, so, so what you can do is just like, once we're maybe like 20 feet above the runway, just make it level, okay? And then the airplane's gonna sink. You know how, remember how like when we do the, the power off stalls, you have to keep adding back pressure to stay at the same altitude? That's really all you're doing. Then the airplane is gonna sink down by itself. 